No, uh, no happy hour here or uh, two for one, too bad. I might have stopped, but uh, they it's make a really nice. Over there. They got blue agave and they got those. Uh, maybe. They got bar barilis. Yep. I don't know, maybe it's a. Uh, it's what you saw about is over here. I don't know maybe if it's, it's a, a little, micro distillery. Little uh, museum or. A little description of uh, you know, how tequila is made. Or we'll just walk over there. Let's okay, see if we can get in. And it doesn't look like anyone's selling or anything there, but we can see what they got. They enticed us in here. This is tequila. Let's see if we uh, ever get out of here. It's at least go too. Um, can be um, pretty real agave. We have a taste of tequila. Uh, yeah, I've I've never tasted tequila in my life. Okay, well uh, this is the first time. Come on. Okay, okay, um, okay. I, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, uh, this is that's the blue agave. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, the blue agave tequila Weber. That's what it's called tequila Weber because the guy who discovered it. Uh, they uh, decided to put his name at the plant uh -huh. because uh, in Mexico we have 150 different types of agaves. Okay, uh, whenever you go down uh, south or up north, uh, you find some agaves and they get get uh, get uh, uh, alcohol out of it. Uh -huh. But it's not tequila. Yeah. See. Okay, tequila only one from one plant. The blue agave tequila and whatever. Okay, the guy who discovered he found out. The, the, the plant is different uh, and it's a uh, lower b volume alcohol and you get the nectar of the gabe out there. Uh, that's, a, that's a steamer, okay, uh, that's a, we call it a Mexican microwave, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a steamer. Back then, uh, they used to have a cold with the ground uh, with volcano rocks, okay, but uh, right now, uh, you know, technology is way advanced. Uh, they don't, uh, they don't use those, the, the, the cold no more and they don't use this one no more. This is a, it used to be like a donkey going around yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, uh, they, oh, they got the piñas and the, it's a big rod that they, they squeeze the squeeze the plants out, and that uh, when they drains it, uh, they get the juice out of it. That's the tequila. Okay, this is just, uh, animal protector guys. They saw the donkey going around it and uh, mule or whatever, <laughs> and they said no, uh, cannot do that. Why? Because uh, they use it, they can abuse the animal. So they decide uh, to take that off, and uh, they decide to make this this um, this is a machine. Uh, this is a squeezer, okay. And uh, right here we get the distilled water, ah. okay. Uh, distilled water. That's the only thing that we put on the tequila. And uh, okay, when in the fermentation process, okay, we wait eight to nine years for the plant to grow and be mature, so we can cut it, right. okay. And after that, we cut it in pieces and we take it to the Mexican microwave or to the uh, oven. And then uh, we cook it. And when we cook it, it throw some like a reddish uh, melaza. And that's the nectar of the gabe. The nectar of the gabe is one of the best sugars for any human being in the whole world, and it's great for that very people. Hmm. Okay, uh, that comes on tequila. Okay, uh, when they, like I said, when they distill it, um, it gets thrown in the bucket to cool down. Uh, that's what they get the nectar of the gabe. And uh, after that, they squeeze it out, uh, the juice, uh, and then it gets the distilled water uh, with it and it goes to the fermentation process. Okay, uh, right here when they distill it, uh, and it gets the leftover, the gavasa, it's called gavasa. Uh, the leftover in the gavasa, it gets uh, used to make pinta. Uh, uh, they use it to make belts, uh, pistol holders, uh, hmm. and all that wow. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, ropes uh, mm -hmm. of pita. Uh, the pita lasts you a long time, and it's very expensive. Okay, uh, that's why uh, they, uh, uh, I tell you, Botox, uh, they use the uh, pita. The uh, Botox. That, that, you see that, that, that rope right there? Uh -huh. Okay, that, that's pita. That's a leftover of, oh, wow. out, of the, uh, out of the gabi. Wow. After it gets squeezed. In. Okay, um, right here, this is the fermentation process. And the fermentation process, uh, tequila is different than any other booze. It's like uh, the whiskey, cognac, randy rum, and vodka. Okay, uh, those ones, uh, they get, uh, when they get in the fermentation process, uh, they get covered, it gets covered uh, mm. because they use sugar. 
mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be covered so it can span and uh, that's what they get the, the, the alcohol out. But tequila is not. Tequila, it gets cooked by the air. Air is the one who cooks it. And right here, the air is not uh, good because uh, it's salty. Yeah. And the salt, it will never pass the fermentation process to get cooked. Right. It turns into vinegar. Mm. Right here in Puerto Vallarta. So if somebody told you they make tequila in Puerto Vallarta, they're, they're full of crap. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't, 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 they say it up in the woods. No, it's not true. Okay. okay? Uh, that's to let you know. Okay. Tequila is unique. Okay. Tequila is, is, is not like uh, any, like I said, any other booth. Um, real tequila is uh, different to uh, the way it cooks and everything. Uh, the, way, the way you drink is too. Okay, uh, after I guess uh, we sit, let it sit right here for a couple of days, two or three days, uh, and then it goes to those alambiques. And the alambiques, that's where it gets cooked again. The juice it gets cooked until it gets, uh, we get uh, um, tequila. Uh, see those, uh, those, those things right there? Uh, those ones that got a, a, like a, something inside there uh, that they needed, uh, they needs to, to get. Um, it used to have a copper in that, but they don't use that copper anymore because it's bad for people. Mm. It's bad for people's self. Oh. So that's why they start uh -huh. using it. So right here, uh, we get this, uh, the tequilas. Uh, we, it, it takes, uh, uh, and those alambiques, uh, we distill it three times. Three times. Three times, why? To have a better quality and tequila. Because uh, normally uh, in any commercial place or any uh, place you go in a commercial, you get a um, you get a blanco tequila, and, and that is one time distilled, and it's na it tastes nasty. Uh, it tastes too strong. Uh, you don't get the taste of the plant and anything. Uh, the only thing you get is the the strongest taste of alcohol, hmm. and that uh, burns your mouth and it burns your stomach and everything. Okay, today I want you guys to know something. Today you guys gonna find out uh, something very good and unique that uh, you never have experienced before, okay? Check it out. Let's go to start drinking. Okay. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, uh, check it out. So I want you to know how to know a tequila. If you cannot taste tequila, it's not tequila. It's moonshine, alcohol. Okay, today you're gonna know something. Very neat. Okay, when you drink this tequila, put it in your mouth, pass it, and help your nose, Excel to mouth. If you do that, if, uh, you're gonna have a full taste of tequila. You're gonna know the taste of tequila today. Uh, because I know uh, if I tell you what's the taste of tequila, believe me, you're not gonna have a clue uh, of, to answer me because uh, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, uh, repeat with me. Repeat with me. Now, we're not a chicken. We're not a chicken. We're not a chicken. We're not shy. We're not, we're not shy. shy. But when we drink tequila, we get ready to drive. <laughs> no, uh, are, are, are you online maybe? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do it like this. Look. The whole thing? Pass it. Inhale it. Look, sell it. Don't let air go through you. Okay. The first taste is a bad taste. Uh, the second taste is sweet. And then it starts, you don't, you don't get the second taste. But uh, like I said, in tequila, Okay, I want you to know something. Okay, um, right here, we're in Mexico, where this is breakfast, lunch, <coughs> dinner, dessert. Okay, this is a strong, less strong, less strong, and less strong. It goes like this, it's the stages. Blanco tequila never ages. This one, it gets put in barrel one to 11 months, it's called reposado. That's what I mean, Rest. reposado. Reposado. One to three years, it's considered añejo, Four to seven, extrañejo. Tequila cannot be more aged than seven years in the barrel. If somebody told you you got a 10 or 20 or 30 years in your tequila, they're full of crap. It's not true. Okay, uh, don't believe in that. Uh, I want you to know uh, one more thing, uh, how to know a tequila without drinking. Check it out. Give me a hand. Okay, uh, wash, uh, let, me, let me put some in your hand. Wash your hands with this tequila, like sanitize it, sanitize it. Okay. Sanitize it, sanitize it. Okay, I want you to know, that's how you know uh, tequila. Ira, check it out. If you get, if you get uh, uh, anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, you get a tequila, put it in your hand, 
your hands gonna be smelling alcohol and your hands gonna be sticky and stinky. That's not tequila. Okay, check it out. This one is a zipper tequila. This is a, a three year age tequila. Añejo. Yes. Añejo tequila is three years, uh, one to three years age tequila. Okay, uh, and it's a zipper. But go ahead and zip it or, or, or shoot it however you want it. Okay, it's up to you. Salud. Smoother, it's smooth, it's smooth. Right. Um, it's smoother. You like that, huh? Be a you like that one, the reposado? Okay. Uh, this last one. Okay, this one uh, is four to seven. This is five year age. Okay, uh, this is the top of line. Okay, uh, the best quality tequila for people like me and you. They like to be. Uh, have a little um, toast after dinner, maybe after 10 o'clock, uh, you uh, kicking it with your friends, your family, or by your wife, you and your wife, okay? Uh, or, or maybe watching TV, drinking a little sitting, uh, uh, this is it, okay? This is, we call this one the baby maker. The baby maker. Uh, why? Uh, because it gives you, uh, you be a wild, my friend, uh, my friend, um, with two shots of these ones, you be feeling like a, like a donkey from your waist down. I'll be feeling like uh, 20 years old again. Uh, like that's right. <laughs> uh, I'll be feeling like a donkey from the waist down. From the waist down. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I'm talking about. She knows, she knows what I'm talking about. Well, uh, she, she's, uh, she's ahead of you, my friend. <laughs> what about tonight? <laughs> that's right, okay. You know, this is a amazing uh, uh, tequila, okay? This is a super tequila. Sip it and enjoy. Uh, but this is the best of it. Wow. It's the best. It, this is a this tequila is for me myself and I only. Uh, you don't want to share this kind of tequila. Why? Because a lot of people they don't know. It costs so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're right. It costs so much, and uh, they probably not gonna. Uh, they want to use it shots, or maybe they want to use a lime. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. they, they, yes, they want to use a lime or salt. The lime and salt is for liars, for bullshitters, and shit. It's not for tequila, okay? I knew this since I was a baby. And salt uh, too, it's for cheap, for cheap uh, tequila. That's right. That's correct, okay? But Whoa, this is. she knows all about tequila. Yes, I, I'm very sure, you know. She's gonna take your job. It's, it's my. It, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> anytime. You have a nice location for your job. Yes, um, it's nice and cool here. Mm -hmm. right? So. Lisa couldn't resist walking by the uh, tequila tasting place. I did it for Bob. She did it for me. <laughs> she did it for me. So we went in there. It cost him a lot of money. Cost me a lot of money. So I don't know how much time we spent in there. An hour and a half. I don't know. I don't know. An hour and a half or Cheers. so. We're on but uh, we had a lot of tequila, and uh, of course many you know, types of tequila. Actually, there was passion fruit. There was kiwi, coffee, vanilla. I don't know others. Right. Yeah, guanaba. You know, whatever. Guanabana. Yeah. Guanabana. guanabana. Sorry. But uh, their, their strategy was successful in that uh, we couldn't leave without buying a bottle. So now we have a bottle that we're gonna have to put in our suit, stuff in our suitcase and, uh, and tote home. Yep. But it was, uh, it. It, was uh, it was a fun time. It was a fun time. It was a blast and it was Oscar's. Yep. It's right by the water. There's a restaurant across the way also called Oscar's here in Puerto Vallarta. Now, the restaurant has a lovely menu. You're looking at it now. <laughs> And um, we may eat there later, who knows? We're going to partake of their banos now. Yep. But no matter what, if you happen to be walking down this way, go and get yourself some free tequila yep. and enjoy it. And until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Hasta la vista.